welcome back uh, to the channel guys so i know it's been a while i've been very busy with work and stuff and transitioning but personal stuff is of no concern so i won't talk too much about it but uh yeah i figured i would just do this uh upgrade for you here i'm gonna be totally honest i'm not even sure if it's an upgrade apparently what the word is they saying that if you install this you can change to different um different um spur gears apparently right uh, different sizes which i'm not too sure about changing it because i can change as far as i know i can change this but oh actually no no you can't actually i just i just realized that yeah they're correct i didn't think too hard about that but yeah the way they have this set up i guess this eliminates that so you can add different styles per gears ah makes sense you can see the price there. This is, by the way, this is Canadian pricing. This is from uh, my local hobby tra hobby store. So, uh, Strictly Sideways, that's where I buy my stuff from. That's where I drift. Uh, so, yeah, so I haven't opened it and explored or looked up anything on this. So, you guys are seeing it raw as I am of what you get in it. Oh, this is just like the... This reminds me of the RDX. Which makes sense, it says RDX on it too. Sorry, not RDX, uh, MC1. So, uh, trying to do this while looking through my my phone. But yeah, but uh, that's the instructions right there. Pretty straightforward. All right, so first things first, we'll take uh, this guy off and see what happens. The only question I have, or what I'm wondering is if I can use uh, I need a is if I could use my oh, big side oh, some dust in there if I could still use the same spur gear or do I need to see if I can bring you guys in a little bit there you go let's see if I can use the same spur gear or if not I have to buy another one if that's the case you're going to learn from this video, and then I'm going to learn as well. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to edit this video. I think this video is going to be straight cut through. And that's my kids upstairs decide to come down and make a whole bunch of noise. And then there goes my video. So I'm just going to, the one I just gonna put up there. I'm going to pull this spur gear out. There you go. Yeah, because remember this, yeah, that's right. Because this spur gear was, is a one piece. That's right. I forgot about that. You're getting this guy. Huh. What do the instructions say? You put this guy in first. With the pinion. So it's just like this, the old one that you just took off. So you're just replacing. Right? Which makes total sense. So I'm just going to put that in. Line it up. Make sure I'm in the holes there. Where is it? I can't see the hole. Or it's not lining up. Oh, you know what? I think that pinion might be too big for it. Oh, why won't it come up? Oh, this is the pinion that gave me trouble. Just from just like the install video. I don't know if you guys watched my when I installed it. It was giving me trouble. I was going to push it out if I can. Oh, and there goes my dog. <laughs> Somebody must be making sounds outside. So I just got to tap this guy out. So I'm just going to grab my small. Like I said, I'm not going to. hide anything in this video i'm just gonna give it to you guys exactly how i'm doing it oh i'm not gonna edit so if i mess up you guys can see where i messed up and then you guys will not make the same mistakes i'm gonna make oh. maybe i will edit this up i'll be right back i'm gonna put a pause here all right bring you guys right back oh i left my battery in 
I just realized my battery was on, or well, not on, but connected. I forgot about that. Sometimes we're in a rush to leave the track, or not even in a rush, you're just ready to go. It's been a long day, forget. <laughs> uh yeah so back so yeah so i took the pinion out which you guys saw me do all right so i'm just gonna compare it to the new one you get and um see if i can do this without looking at it oh there you go that makes sense why I, oh not even a picture well that makes sense why i couldn't use the original one as you can see it's slightly bigger like longer right you see it right there that's why so you do have to replace the pin but they give you the pin which is good so i'm gonna put that there with that guy i'm gonna put the new one in now let's hopefully this one doesn't uh struggle to win like like that one did i don't know if that was a manufacturer def defect or if i just got a bad batch like i said if you guys saw my video there uh, of me putting it on it was actually very tight Compared to like a Yokomo shell or a Yokomo chassis, I should say, it just this pinion goes in and it slides out and falls out. So maybe that is a something I did intentional. So yeah, look, this one's giving me the this one's giving me the same uh, same situation. See, it's not sliding out. So I was gonna use my coupler here just to put some force down. There you go. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just gotta aim it right. There you go. Oh, maybe too much. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, so maybe that is part of how they build them, the RDX. That way the pin doesn't fly. Because if you like, if you have the build a YD2 or even like a D4 or D5, yeah, I believe in the MST, the RMX, it's like you put that pin in and it just, just like, whoop, you know, comes right out like a, you know, Lucy, you know, goosey. <laughs> but yeah, so let's line this guy up now. Yeah, there you go. Goes in perfect. No problem. Yeah, so the only problem with that now, <laughs> which is a problem that I didn't account for, was the fact that now I can't use this guy on this one because of the spur gear, right? It doesn't have the holes to line up like this one, right? Luckily for me, I have a spare one. I'm not sure what the brand of this one is. It's um, it's definitely not a Yokomo or an, uh, or an RMX brand. I can guarantee you that. I don't know what, what it is. It doesn't even tell me the... Let's see if I can look behind the camera, the sizing. I don't know the sizing of it. It is definitely bigger than the... Yeah, it's definitely bigger than the stock one, as you can see. I have another one here, though. This is a um, brand new. I bought this years ago. It's Kim Bar, King Bro products. I, I bought, like I said, I bought this years ago. You can see the dirt on it. It's... I forgot I had this thing until I went into my drawers and I tried to find one just to show you guys. And I found the, the two, the only two that I have. I don't have any spare whitey twos around. Yeah, but this one's, a, I believe this one's the same as the size. Yeah, this one's the exact same size as the, the one there. Because this one's an 84, I said, in the pack. All right, 81 tooth, 48 pitch is what you want. It's a 48 pitch, right? Pitch is the... The spacing of the of the gears of the these little gears here is the pitch. So you got to make sure the pitch is always the same. And you can always check by running them like this with each other and see how they just mesh in perfectly. That's pitch. If you guys ever get a pinion gear, one of these, and you notice that it doesn't run good with your car, it makes a weird sound. If it's if it's a high pitch, that means it's too tight. But it's like a weird crankling sound. That means the pitch of the spur gear, spur gear, and the pinion is off, right? And most of the time, well, most chassis, actually all the chassis that at least that I've had always comes with a spur gear. So that means your pinion is a different pitch. So you got to watch out for that. So I'm going to see if this guy can just go on. So this is the same size. Let's see if I can light it up here. Looking at the camera, I'm looking at you guys. So I can just line up the holes. Uh, Lined up that hole. I can't do it while looking at the camera with you guys. With the camera in my way. I was going to take this guy off. And just see if I can just do it this way. It makes it easier. It might not work though. Because this is not a Yokomo brand. Or even a RMX brand. Yeah. No, the holes don't line up. It lines up two holes. 
Yeah, it doesn't line up. It'll line up this hole and that hole, but then it doesn't line up that hole there and this hole here. So there should be a hole in the middle there. But it doesn't line up. So that's a bust. Which kind of sucks, but at least you guys know what it is. So that means if you want to change it, if you pretty much well, all this upgrade does is if you want to change this spur gear out to use a different size. This is an 81, like this one's practically an 81. Maybe it's a slight smaller, maybe an 80. Oh, no, it's an 81. Uh, maybe it's an 84. It looks like it's a slight, slightly bigger by the looks of it. So maybe it's an 84 or an 82. Yeah, so if you want to change spur gears to a smaller size or uh, a bigger size, then uh, yeah, you need this upgrade. And I just pretty much showed you what it is. So yeah, so pretty much once this goes in there, like you just saw it, the spur gear goes in just like that. And then these these holes will be sticking out through the holes, right? And then you use this guy, this guy, right on top, just like this, right? It lines up with the holes like that. And then you use the nut that comes with it and you tighten it up the same way as when this guy was there. So it really sucks that these don't line up. I was kind of hoping. I could use it but they just don't do it yeah no yeah no no matter how I do it try to look away from the camera too and doing it yeah no it just misses a hole <laughs> sucks <laughs> but yeah but pretty much that's all you do once that's in there this goes in between just like this all right just like that all right, and then you use your your nut to lock it in, like I said. So sorry I can't show you the finished product, but that's pretty much all that this does do. That that's pretty much all it does. So in the end, if if you ask me if this is a performance upgrade, yes, if you're planning to change the size of the spur gear for performance purposes, right? Then yes, it's a performance upgrade. If you're just changing it just because it, you know, it just it just looks good. Because yes, this does look better than just having this, right, with a nut. If you're just doing it for that, then I would just keep this. It's not broken. I wouldn't change it because this works perfect, right? I plan to change the spur gear, and then I also wanted to show you guys how to do it, so that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> but so yeah, so it's a it's a performance. If you're changing the spur gear. If it's just for looks, it's not a performance upgrade. No. All right. So hopefully that answers that question. If, but I'm part of, I'm pretty sure I'll still get the comments. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave my chassis to the side on that until I get to go to the track in a couple of weeks and buy the spur gear, buy the uh, Rev D one, or the Yokomo one. I'll leave that there. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the video. It is a very short video. Um, I think I got some running clips from this past weekend. I'll just throw in there at the end. And again, I'm sorry about the music. I have to mute it. You know, the tracks playing music that's, you know, copyright for YouTube. So, yeah, no choice but to mute the running parts. So, again, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll check you guys out on the, on the next one. Hopefully it's another upgrade that is performance-based for the RMX. Let's hope. Check you guys later.